Welcome to Episode 9 of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video showing how to browse for HMI tags from graphic display objects inside of View Studio. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to show you how to browse for tags for objects you'll put on your screens. In this case, a numeric display will want to tie the value field to a tag. Now, this is the RSU Studio Tag Browser. This tag browser does not constantly pull your PLC or hard drive for tags. So if you add a tag, you must come in here, right-click, and refresh. Now, in my case, my window's up to date from the previous uh, tutorial. And so I'll just go right in and um, choose one of my Slick 500 tags. It can be difficult to tell what is what, so I'll right-click and turn on server names to see what are HMI tags and what are online connections. In this case, I want to choose one of my Slick 500 tags, and I'll choose the analog tag. Now, notice that the tag name is enclosed in curly brackets. The reason is that this field can also contain an expression. I could come in and actually take that tag and multiply it by a number of two. And whenever you have a field that can take an expression, your tag name has to be enclosed in curly brackets. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.